In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a top or planned oblique of this power outlet right here. We have drawn this in the previous videos with orthographic and isometric. Now we're going to do it with an oblique. Now remember, we need to choose the surface or the plane that has the most interest and is the most difficult to draw. And in that case, that would be this surface. So this is going to be my top. Think of this as front, top, and side. The top is going to be true shape. Remember that we had proportions of one by one, two, and three with three quarters deep. All right, so let's start, ladies and gentlemen. We need a one by three, so I'll start over here. And remember that the angle of the top view, which is true shape, has to be, in this case, 90 degrees. Okay, so make sure that's 90 degrees. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out three. One, two, and three. All right, so that would be the top of my power outlet. This angle here is greater than 45 degrees. Remember, it cannot be 45. We drop vertical lines from these major points down. And remember, we have to foreshorten, okay? Okay, so if this, this is one unit, and a full one unit would be there, all right? But we have to short it, foreshorten the three quarters. So that would be a full one unit. So it would be one by one by one. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is really three quarters of a unit. That's one and that's three quarters. So what we have to do is this, is we have to divide this to get three quarters. So that is really going to be the depth of our power outlet right there. So what we now have done is we have created the box that we're now going to inscribe this top oblique of this power outlet. And I will show you how to do that. A couple of things to remember, first of all, is that I'm going to make assume that these are three quarters of a unit and you will see how I draw that.
Okay, that is the top view, top plan oblique of this. As you can see here that this top surface is true shape because the reason is because it is a top orthographic view and that the axis that recedes is three quarters and you need to foreshorten. All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much.